This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 3rd of April. We're looking at, uh, in this 10 o'clock market update, we're looking at the Dow up almost 300 points at 33,574. Um, we've been looking for this cup formation or V-shaped formation to try to test. I didn't even expect that it could do it in this one big move to the upside over the last four or five sessions of 33,572 that was made uh, early in March. And then we pulled back to 31,000 uh, 1,000 points down, actually it was 2,000 points down to 31,429. And now we've got that all back. But you can see in the weekly chart, we're still making low lows and lower highs. And this is a leg C. I was expecting this in the next day or two, but we've made it a day early and at least two days early. That's really good. Chapman Wave, we're always expecting a buy signal to be upgraded to a buy mode, which means if it happens that you're going to go to at least a D, so there should still be higher peaks. peaks. You can see on the left side that peak D over there. S&P is already ahead of the game. It's in leg D already, and it's really nicely above, almost not quite a one-to-one. -one. Yes, it's a one-to-one -one, um, in the Chapman Wave Falling Axe Formation. If you're very conservative about that low that was made there in the daily chart, so far very good action, up almost eight at 4,170. Not as good as the Dow, funnily enough. QQQ. A little weaker, it's down $1.73 at $3.19.22. It has made a leg C. This could become a peak C. And this week, I'm expecting Ds to be in the down the queues to say, oops, we're going to have a little bit of a short-term top here. IWM has been lagging today. It's up nicely. It's up $0.72 cents at one seventy nine eleven. Now, this is interesting because gold refuses to pull back and keeps hitting the, uh, the nine period moving average and then moves up, even touched the 14 at 1972 today, went to 1965. It's up $15 at 2001. And that's one of the reasons I think is because crude oil is up sharp. Crude oil isn't up sharply. It is up huge. It is up 6.46%, up almost $5 at 80.57. Still stuck in that rectangle that we're looking at in the weekly chart. And the dollar, well, the dollar's pulling back. The dollar's down 13 ticks. But here's the interesting thing bonds. Uh, bonds are up. 30.32, so yields are actually coming down a little bit, but that 200 period moving average of 132 and a half is going to be strong resistance. I'll be back for the Tiger for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call. We've had some really nice trades in the last couple of weeks. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay.